Well, it's 848 on your Black Friday morning. We all know that kids can sometimes be very picky eaters. So Eglin's Best created a nationwide competition with one of the subjects being kid-friendly recipes. The winner from right here in Columbus. About this, Michelle Kusma joins us live in the kitchen this morning. Michelle, great to see you. Now, wait, you're no stranger to competitions either. I am not. I actually like cooking a lot. I don't enter a lot of competitions, but what I have been lucky. It was like last year we were talking about the, last the pancakes year. with cookie dough. Yep, that's so absolutely right. This year, all right, so picky eaters, no kid can resist this with Eglin's Best. Now, what are we making? You are absolutely right. We are making Dutch apple and honey noodle kugel. Noodle and kugel. And yeah. that's just fun to say. It is. It is. It's a great recipe. Kids absolutely love it because it's sweet. It's, okay. it's pasta, but it is sweet. And it's cooked as a casserole. And it basically has two components. i got to admit, Michelle, all right, talking about any kind of food right now <laughs> is a bit difficult. But we can power through, especially since it's sweet. So absolutely. It looks, is it relatively easy to make? It is absolutely easy. And that okay. was one of the things that had to go for Egglands, the kid-friendly recipe, was that it had to be easy, that kids had to be able to at least do part of the recipe so they themselves. Can help out. Okay, so what do we need to do, Michelle? Okay, well, it starts out with noodles, and this is okay. something that parents would probably need to do for their kids themselves, and that's boil the noodles according to package directions, and it's 12 ounces of noodles, Okay. and there's also melted butter in here, and I already added the, the one stick of melted butter into okay. this just to keep the noodles separated. All right. And then we need to add all the things that are here. All right. So I will have you. Here are my Eggland's best eggs. It takes six eggs. Six eggs. And if you just give them a little bit of a whip with a fork, that'll just, just help them mix in a little bit better. Just kind of bust up the yolks and stuff. And exactly. It takes right. um, a can of um, oh, apple pie good. filling. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> and this Cinnamon isn't easy. This is a shortcut, and it's very, very Because it's easy. already ready to go in there. It is, okay. except I do like to chop it a little bit, and this is just a little thing that, that I do is I take my knife directly into the can, and you can just take the knife and run it through it, and you don't have to do, it's no muss, no fuss. You don't have to take out a cutting board or anything else. And just run just the knife through. Kind of cut the smaller pieces. All right. Exactly. And then that goes in. All right, so we got your go eggs go in. Quickly here, put the yep. eggs in too. Yep. Everything right. here goes in. All goes in. Yep. So We've got six eggs, the can of apple pie filling. Right. We've got applesauce, one and a half cups of applesauce. Okay. Should we serve this as we're putting it in? You certainly may. Okay. We've got a half a cup of sugar. All right. We've got mm. a cup of golden raisins. Oh, man. I'll break these apart a little bit. Oops. This almost looks like it would make like an amazing dessert, too. It is. I actually entered it in the breakfast category. Oh, my it gosh. <laughs> so it has Shall eggs I in it. I love it. <laughs> eggs for breakfast in a different way. We've got a half a cup of honey here. By the way, I, so you said this is your daughter off on the side? Is it she, is. <laughs> was she a picky eater as a child? She is not a picky eater. I okay. am very, very lucky to not Something have a Something tells me eater. everything you make, though. You're... You're going to be fine, I think. All right. Absolutely. Well, I, while you're mixing that up. So we're mixing all of this up. Right. We've got a 9 by 13 pan. Okay. And we're just going to give that a light spray. And that way it comes out of the pan easier when you're ready to slice it and eat it. And once that's all mixed thoroughly, it will go in the pan. Goes in the pan. All right. And then once we've got that in the pan, yes. you have the topping, which will go on top of that. I and see butter. Yes, butter or margarine, either one is perfectly fine, and this one is just um, cut up just a little bit to make it easier. Okay. And to make the crumble topping, you add these very simple ingredients, which is a quarter cup of sugar. Okay. Quarter cup of brown sugar. Or, I'm sorry, it's a half a cup of brown sugar. Mm, sugar, brown sugar. <laughs> I know. Keep it coming. Sugar, eggs, and noodles. Right. What could be bad about that? And then that little bit of a cup about of flour. About a cup of flour. And then exactly. you just put that on top before you bake? You do. And then how long do you bake? You bake it for an hour at 350. And then just enjoy it. And that's what it looks like in Is the end. Is it all right since it's your recipe if we put ice cream on top of it? <laughs> you can do it. Is that all right? Absolutely. Michelle, thank you so much. Congratulations, by the way, on winning the competition. And so you can get this recipe and try it yourself. Just go to GoodDayColumbus.com, click on Recipes at the bottom of the page, and we will get you all hooked up. Carolyn, this smells amazing. We didn't even cook it yet. <laughs>